Well, hi everybody. We're here to do part two of our little adaptations lesson on owls. So one thing about owls is that they catch their prey and they swallow it whole. And inside their body, they have to separate out the meat from the stuff that they can't digest, like the bones and the fur. Like bones and fur. Ooh, bones and fur. So what they do is they regurgitate the bones and fur in what's called a pellet. And I'm going to put our little owl friend away for a minute. And a pellet actually looks like... Where's the camera? This. You can see there's bits and pieces of stuff in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to dissect a pellet. Now the pellets I got came wrapped in aluminum foil and they were fumigated and sterilized and they come from a company. But you can actually find owl pellets um, in the wild. So let's take a look at what's in this owl pellet. So you won't see too much of me, but here is the pellet and I've taken the aluminum foil off. And most people prefer not to do this just with their bare hands, but I don't have a problem with it. I'll just wash my hands afterward. And we're going to start to pull the pellet apart. And you can use your fingers, or you can use a pair of tweezers. And what you'll start to see are different parts of bones and fur. Let's see where the camera is. I don't know if you can see that. We've got little pieces of bones, and this takes quite a while. Now with these owl pellets that I ordered from an owl pellet company, these are barn owl pellets, and they send an information sheet so that you can actually sort out the bones. This is the bones for a bowl. They also give you some information about different kinds of animals. You might find um, birds, you might find moles, Lots, most of them are going to be rodents. And you can tell a rodent by their teeth. So I'm going to actually take out an owl pellet that I completely dissected about a week and a half ago at an event. and. I'm going to show you, separate out some of the bones. So everything is bones and fur. This is the stuff that cannot be digested by the owl. And we can take all these bones and we can actually sort them. And we can see what kind of animal was it that this owl caught. So we can see that we have some kind of leg bone. We have, very hard to see this one, vertebra. Oh, this one is a little easier to see. So we have all sorts of bones. We even have some partial skulls. So here is a skull. This one is missing its teeth because I already pulled them out. So we can often tell that a skull is from a rodent. Here's a skull. You can see the eye sockets. But this one is missing its teeth. I'm going to show you. Here's a tooth. It's got some fur on it. Yeah, I dropped it. Oh, I'm not good at this. Okay, see how rounded that tooth is? And I'm going to show you what happens. So we know it's a rodent because here's part of the skull. And we can see that we can pull the tooth out and it keeps coming and coming and coming. So they grow very long and they curl. So if a rodent, rodent doesn't chew on something and gnaw down its teeth, those teeth will grow back into his own head. 
and he will get killed. So that's why rodents need to gnaw on everything. So we've got some adaptations of rodents in addition to adaptations of our owl. Oh, and here is a terrific little jawbone. See if we can get it in focus. You might be able to see the little teeth. So here are, here's a pile of fur, and on this chart we have some of the bones. You can see the difference between the drawing and the actual bones that I was able to tease out of the fur. So you can see some leg bones, some arm bones, some teeth and different parts of the skull. So we have just explored one of the amazing adaptations of the great horned owl which is to regurgitate what it can't digest.